everyone, Annette here. Sorry I've been missing in action for a while lately. Uh, just haven't had time to do videos with kids on school holidays and everything. But I'm back today and what I'm going to show you is how to do veins on your reborn baby. So I've got my kit here. This is uh, Jenny by Alicia Toner. And I'll show you first what paints to use. Now, um, I use Genesis Heat Set paints. So you can either use the ready pre-made vein blue, which is that colour blue there, if you can see it. That's a pre-mix, so you can then just add your odorless thinner, um, keeping it nice and thin. Or you can do it this way, which is uh, using some filio blue and filio green. Sorry, you can see I've messed up a little bit of blue in there. Um, so those two colours and um, mix that with a little bit of odorless thinners. I'll show you that I've already got some mixed. So just a little bit, you can just see that there, just a little bit of odorless thinners. I'm spill on the table. Mix it together, it's like an aqua sort of blue colour. I don't know if this will show up on the paper. Can you just see it? Probably not quite as much as you'd like. I'll just bring the camera down for a minute so you can actually see a better shot of the colour blue. And I've actually spilt some on the table there. So it probably looks a little bit more um, turquoise than the blue that you can actually see there. So now I'll just try to show you how I do them. So you've just got your very fine brush. Mine's a little bit feathery on the end, but that's okay. I just mix it around and once you um, like wipe it on the side, it'll let some out. And also I just gently touch it, just the tip of it onto the paper and it takes it off. Now with veins, Hopefully I'll be able to show you okay. I'll do it from this distance. With the veins, uh, you, it just needs to be barely there. So if you do it too much, it'll almost look like you've got biro on the, on the kit. You just want it barely there. So when I'm doing it, I normally do it over and over again in the same spot. So let's say I'm doing the forehead one here just relaxing your hand and sort of letting it white. I think you can just see that yet. You can just see that in the light. Uh, if I let that dry, I won't be able to see it. So I keep going over it again and again and again, just trying to be as fine as I can. It's easier to go finer as uh, the odorless thinners sort of dries out. So I'll keep doing that a few times so you can see how it will keep getting darker. If you've got too much um, like thinners in the brush, it will um, just spread as you paint it on the kit. Let me try and move it so you can see what I'm doing. It'll just spread as you put it on the kit so it'll be really thick. So over and over again, try to get that close, over and over again. So you can see that, it might look thick to you, uh, but basically if it's too thick I can just get a little bit of, I've got cosmetic wedge and you can just dab it on there and even feather it out towards the ends will draw it out a bit more but once the paints the different colors start going over that it'll really blend in you won't really see it much um, this is another one I did earlier I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see this let's have a look oops sorry guys Yep, see that? It's barely there. 
on the sides. And if we go to look at um, hands, I don't know if you can see that, just there, you can barely see it. I, I can probably see it better than you, obviously. Just on the upper leg there. And then if we look at the foot, I don't know if we can see it on the foot, on the side of the leg there, and underneath the foot. So basically, like I said, oops, sorry. it needs to be just barely there so you can barely see it. See, that's starting to dry now, so it's harder for you to see. I'll just do a couple more coats. But just remember, once you do your your flesh tones and, and blushing over the top, it won't cover it over. All these layers are super thin. So it will still come out and it will give that 3D effect like it is underneath the skin. So just keep going over and over the top. If you feel you've gotten a little bit too much, like I said, just dab it and it, it will clear out. You can see that. And for a closer up look, there we go. And with something like this Jenny kit, um, if you're doing veins, you can put a little bit of a blue on, blue on the tongue and that will help with getting the colouring in for later. So I think that's all I've got for today. I uh, just wanted to do a shout out uh, to uh, Lindsay Ort. Oh, I'm so sorry that this, no one wanted to help me with my video today. So Lindsay Ort uh, is on YouTube, L-I-N-D-S-E-Y uh, space O-R-T. Um, why don't you go and follow her? She's one of my followers and um, she loves to have people follow her as well. So thanks for watching my videos, Lindsay. It's really good to see someone who wants a shout out. So if you guys need any questions about you'd like me to do certain videos or if you weren't clear about something I said within that video, just send me a message below and um, I'll try to, try to help any way I can. That's it for today. So thanks for watching and um, we'll see you again soon.